my god, it's so hot. I need air. Hi guys, it's Azoria and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> hey guys, it's Azoria and welcome back to my channel. We are going to be doing a hygiene routine. Realistic hygiene routine. It's not going to be like the girls who have 10,000 hair products, 10,000 body products. No. That's unrealistic. We are realistic. We're real over here. So that's what we're gonna do and I hope you guys enjoy it I also just did my hair today. I just washed it and straightened it So I'm gonna show you guys what I put in it It looks kind of like darker than how it is in real life and it doesn't really like look all that special But my hair feels really like soft and just like nice. So oh wait, I forgot to tell you guys my list. So I have Four categories. <laughs> I have four categories. So the first one is hair, second one body, third skincare. Fourth, scents and perfumes because I love perfumes, body mists, and stuff that just makes me smell good. Starting off with hair care, the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is my shampoo and conditioner that I use. Carol's Daughters shampoo. This is the black vanilla flavor scent. I don't know. I love to smell like coconut vanilla like those scents i love to smell like that so that's why i feel like why not have my hair smell like vanilla because like duh this is the matching conditioner i'm on like my third or fourth bottle i think so highly recommend i also have their leave-in conditioner i don't really like their leave-in conditioner i find it to be very like drying so i don't recommend that However, I still do recommend their shampoo and conditioner, just not their leave-in. After shampoo and conditioner, I love to go in with a hair mask. Now, I just got this one recently. This is also by Carol's Daughter. It has like ginger, wheat, castor oil. This helps my hair because I straighten my hair a lot. So using this mask, it helps my hair to not break off and leave me bald. So this is the Blue Magic Grease. I grew up using this ever since I was like a little kid. This makes your hair grow so well. It keeps your hair so moisturized and it smells so good. It literally like, oh my God, like every time I smell this or just like see it, it takes me back to like, me being a little kid and getting my hair greased. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but. Adding on to grease, I do have this oil. This is, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but it's a stimulating hair oil. I'm literally almost out of it. I need to get more. Next, I have the Chi Heat Protected Spray. Now, I recently got this and it's so well. I'm like, I'm almost out. Um, this works really well. I, the only reason why I bought this is because I heard like so many good reviews on it. Then we have the Wow Dream Coat. Honestly, I don't really know how to feel about this because like it's supposed to be like an anti-humidifier. I don't know. This was 12 bucks and this little like bottle. Next, I have the Not Your Mother's Texturizing Beach Babe Dry Shampoo. Now, I wanted to love this. I really did, but it leaves my hair white. If you want to get around that, what I noticed is if you get like a comb and you like spray it on the comb, and then you run it through your hair then it will be fine it won't leave like a white mark as much as if you just like spray it directly on your head so i think you should do that if you still want to use this overall it's like a four out of ten also going on the four out of ten we have this hairspray now i bought this hairspray because i saw like an ad being like oh it's so good da 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 Girl, you should have known. I don't even know why you trust that. Be careful because it can leave your hair very crunchy. And I I learned the hard way because my hair was very crunchy. Now we're going to move on to when I shower. The only body wash that I use is the Dove body washes. Those are like my favorite ones. I can use other body washes. I recently just tried out Native and I don't really like it. Like I love the scents that they have, but honestly it's too much scent for my liking. I don't really like loafahs. I feel like they don't get me 100% clean like how a rag does. Like I love to be able to scrub my body and I just feel like a loafah doesn't get the places that I need to be gotten. If it's, you know, like an everything shower or it's those days where I want to exfoliate, I use the Tree Hut exfoliators. I really do love these. I've tried their strawberry, pineapple, and vanilla. They do what needs to be done and they all smell so good. I have these two like brushes. This one's for my face and this one's for my body. I use these when I want to like not exfoliate but also get in my pores and stuff so this one i use for my arms because i do have a 
skin condition is very common and popular it's called kp which is short for keratosis polaris it's very common if you look it up for shaving i use this razor it's by ovolo i don't know how to pronounce this but here let me like this is the brand. My boyfriend, he actually put me on to this because I did not know before. I used to use razors and razors, they fucked me up every single time. I know there are some girls out there who can shave and like nothing will happen. I'm not one of those girls. Every single time I shaved, I got razor bumps or just like something would happen and it would just like get so annoying so when i got this this literally took like all the problems of shaving away and you can get this on amazon blur what now we're gonna jump into body or what am i talking about 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 i can't talk now we're gonna get into body lotions and body oils i first have the your oh god urisin urchin i don't know this body lotion is so so good i have dry skin my face is so oily but my body is like dry i don't know and then also i pair it with this this is the i also don't know how to pronounce the name but it's a body oil it smells so good it smells like cupcakes low key too so the lotion and the body oil that i showed you before is more for like my daytime lotion i guess and then for my nighttime lotion i like to use this one now this one is for my kp and it really does help here like on my arms and yeah that's pretty much it so i use these on my arms every single night and i don't even know why i'm showing it because like i don't know i guess if someone sees this who has kp then you can use this this is so good i recommend it's kind of expensive but it's so worth it because it does help so last thing for body care is deodorant obviously we all need deodorant guys i use the dove advanced care deodorant and this is the shea butter one this one's so good and i also have a spray one i don't really like spray deodorants because i don't know they just feel weird i like the ones that you roll on I love dove i've used them for like my whole life and i just I don't know i like dove products they're really good i feel like if i edit this video i'm probably gonna realize i left something out so i will like jump in and be like hey guys da -da -da -da. so now moving on to skincare so our first thing that we have is the elf holy hydration melting cleansing balm now this is for makeup this is my holy grail makeup remover product this product is so good and i will never return to like makeup wipes or micellar water and cotton pads to take off a full set of makeup like that's that's insane like i don't even know why i was doing that to my skin next is just the cerave renewing sa cleanser i've always been a fan of cerave cerave however you say it this brand is very popular and it's popular for a reason so after cleanser i like to go in with micellar water now this is the rose water one i've been obsessed with rose water i've said that so many times on this channel just to make sure that i've gotten everything off of my face like i know i went in with the makeup remover and then also the cleanser but this is just like a third step and it's not gonna hurt anything to so just make sure that my makeup is completely off then to pair it with the micellar water i have an actual rose water spray i'm running out again it's like up to here i think yeah like up to here so i need to buy some more after this runs out this is by the heritage store and it's so good it like sprays really well i don't know if that's like we i don't know i just love it it's a very good product and it only has three ingredients so it's very natural and really good for your skin next we have two ordinary products now this one is the glyconic acid toning solution this is for like darker areas that you have on your skin i have like dark circles i have like a dark area here i have dark areas here and this has actually been clearing up a lot since i've been using this next is something that i really really love this is the ordinary hyaluronic acid two percent and b5 vitamin this is so good i've gotten so many of these this is like the larger bottle because i was tired of going back to the store and getting like the smaller bottle i used to have the niacinamide one however i feel like that one was like starting to burn my skin which is weird because i've like used it so much and it hasn't done that until recently however this has not so I have two moisturizers 
and of course i have this cerebe moisturizer i've used this for years again it's a very lightweight moisturizer because i do have oily oily skin like very very oily skin so this is a very nice lightweight moisturizer and it also pairs with the cleanser laneige water bank blue hyaluronic cream moisturizer I use this mostly for nighttime because it's more of like a thicker moisturizer and I don't like to wear that during the day because I usually wear makeup and I cannot have that because my skin will literally get so oily. I love like the product. I don't know. It's like a twisty little um, container and it's kind of cool to play with. I never ended up telling you guys what I do for my oral hygiene because I literally forgot. Don't think I don't brush my teeth. Stop. I just have my cheetah set on, the one that I always wear because it's so comfortable. I go in with my toothbrush and it's covered right now in a little paper towel to keep it clean. And then after I do that, I go in with this um, tongue scraper. It's just like a standard one, nothing too special. Just like really get in there. <laughs> I wanna make sure that my tongue is nicely cleaned and I don't have stink breath. For floss, I used to have this water flosser. I need to get a new one because I literally love water flossers. When I had braces for so long, I had one because those really help when you have braces to get the food out of your teeth. And then that one broke and then I got another one um, for when I had Invisalign, which is what I have now. And that one also broke. So now I have to buy another one because I love water flossers. Like they just work so well and they just get all the like nasty food out of your teeth that you need to get out of there anyways let's get back to the video so now for our final and last category we just have perfumes so i don't really have that much perfumes i mostly have body mist over perfumes but i just want to show you guys what they are because like i'm really really proud of my collection i guess this is the black opium by ysl and this smells so good like it's my signature scent like after this runs out i'm gonna get another bottle because i cannot live without this now and then my other vanilla scents because of course i have have more body fantasies i love this one this is like my second bottle the next two are from bath and body works this one is wrapped in vanilla and then we have warm vanilla sugar i love how this one smells i love both of them but i especially love how this one smells it smells so good and i want to get the matching lotions i hope you guys enjoyed my hygiene my my height i don't okay my brain is off my brain is literally off i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did comment this emoji 